bit. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Silverman. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jay. I'm from Washington, D.C. And today I'd like to do a dramatized reading about life on the ship, all factually based about things I've noticed or observed as we are on the cruise. Our cruise director, John Blair, has kindly included me in today's program. I must mention regarding these amateur shows that Royal Caribbean does not permit comedy. Repeat, they do not permit comedy. Apparently in the past, some passenger performers' language ran afoul of decency standards. So, uh, rest assured, this is not, repeat, not a comedy act. Uh, oh, my fingers are crossed. Does that mean it's not true and that it is comedy? I'm confused. Well then, no laughing, no guffawing, and no tittering, please. Violators will be, well, I'm not sure what will happen if you giggle. Ask John Blair. Uh, does everybody aboard remember Damien, the very pleasant Irish fitness director aboard? Oh, yeah. yeah, great guy. Uh, and his uh, invitations to all of us the first night or two to come up to the gym. Well, I, I saw Damien um, earlier today and he asked me to bring you this message. Hello everyone, I'm Damien, your fitness director. You may remember at the beginning of the cruise, nearly two weeks ago, that I warned you about the average cruise passenger's <laughs> two pounds per day weight gain from all that good food. And I invited you up to the gym and to attend some of my seminars, such as how to increase your cardio metabolism fat burn, <laughs> detox for health, Get off your big lazy arse. <laughs> and quit the cheesecake and start eating algae. <laughs> now, I, I know some of you took me up on the opportunity to keep fit. Uh, those of you who did not. The day of reckoning and the law of the two pound average daily weight gain has caught up with you. Tomorrow you'll be getting off the ship with a lot of extra baggage. <laughs> And I don't just mean souvenirs and t-shirts. That's two pounds gained a day for 14 days times 2,000 passengers. <laughs> Folks, you're carrying home 56,000 extra pounds on your bellies. Uh, that's what Damien asked me to tell you, folks. I swear he said it. And folks, Damien's math seems to be about right. I've been on the pool deck. I've seen those big beer bellies, those thunder thighs, those droopy derrieres. When the captain says he's carrying 79,000 gross tons on this ship, by the looks of it, I'm inclined to believe him. I was talking in Damien's Irish accent before, but what about the captain of the vessel? It's only my fourth cruise, folks, but doesn't it seem like every captain speaks like every other captain? Good morning, this is the captain speaking from the bridge. I'm not sure, but I think maybe all these guys go to the same sea captain school of public speaking. No matter where they're from, Norway, Greece, the Netherlands, they all sound the same. This is the captain speaking from the bridge. It's another sunny day. The degrees are 72 longitude, 26 Celsius, and the winds are 22 Nazis. <laughs> Did I hear that right? Did he say 22 Nazis? <laughs> now, what you don't want to hear is this. Hello, this is the captain speaking from the brig. <laughs> if he's speaking from the brig, it means there's been a mutiny and now the guy in charge of the ship 
is that handsome, smooth-talking sales manager who always tells us about the great purchasing opportunities he has for us, like tanzanite and t-shirts. Now, if that guy is in charge of the ship, we're in trouble. He won't let us off the ship unless we all buy a watch, some t-shirts, at least $500 of fine jewelry, Walmart quality at twice the price, <laughs> and three bottles of booze. Uh, hundreds of you bought some of that duty-free liquor. Bet you think you got a good deal, too. <laughs>